Um, this is an RBF 13. We have two types of RBF. One is the 13, and one is the larger one, which is 37. Here we have seven on the top, six on the bottom. Um, you can put, and we have four memories into four steps. What is most important for burnout is, of course, the highest temperature and the constant temperature is very important, but the initial step and the secondary step is very important So, oh, for the all the flasks will be drying out and make the hardening very easy. The control easy. is very easy. We have four memories and you set, first you set the time of total how many hours of ramping and holding. After you set the ramping and holding, again you set the temperature of each step. Okay, and this will go up to 950 Celsius, which means that you can do also platinum also. And the afterburner will make <coughs> the secondary burnout so that no smell, no fumes will be coming out, so that you don't need a big ventilation in the factory. You don't factory. need it to waxing purposes. You put the furnace, all the wax will go inside and comes out from the bottom of the oven. So you just need a small pan. So the wax will goes out and catches with the pan. So no steam do waxing will be required. This is for overheat protection. We're setting it of 1000 degrees. If it goes more than 1000 degrees by some kind of electric failure, it just stops automatically for safety and protection. You can see while the table is rotating, you can see the table position so that you memorize the table position so you will have no mistakes and the opening time of the oven will okay. be minimized. There are four memories. Memory number one, two, three, four, you can memorize it. Okay? And when there's an alarm, any kind of error or alarm, this will appear. A, B means when you, when you turn on, the cycle, sorry, you have to close this, I'm sorry. When you start the operation, this AB means the afterburner. The afterburner start turning on, which means this should be higher temperature than what is inside the oven to have the secondary burnout. The heat means now it's starting to heat. So it's starting to have the power to the coil. Okay, um, this oven will make the uniform heat inside the oven. The reason is, when the air comes in, since the afterburner is burning in a higher temperature than what is inside, the, we have the large airflow which reflects the porphyroid stainless steel flask, which makes the each flask, upper, upper deck and the lower deck, very uniform. Among the, all the ovens, this is the only oven you can touch with your bare hands, which means that you're heating, not the oven itself, but you're heating only inside the oven. Most of the ovens are very heavy, a lot of bricks inside, so when the heat goes up, it heats all the ovens. This oven, you can heat only inside the oven. So all the outside, of course, it's not cool like this atmosphere, but you can still even touch with your bare hands during the when you do the casting. It is important to minimize the opening time of the door. Okay? So if I have the table position indicated here and your flask, you can minimize the opening time of your oven. Because suppose you set your memory number 14, the I'm sorry, the position 14 and your flask number is 14. You just wait until it becomes 14, you stop, you open, and take it out the required flask so that your opening time is very required. So you don't have to search for your flask.